Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to share with you some new makeup that I have purchased recently and have been playing around with and I'm super impressed. There's a couple things that seriously are so fantastic in their drugstore. So let's get right into it. Probably the best thing that I have found and have been using recently are these little tubes from Almay. These are called velvet foils and I picked them up in four colors. I put these on this morning, for example, which has been probably eight hours ago and they have gone nowhere. I mean, that's all I have on my eyelids. That's all I have underneath my eyes. I'm telling you, these are the most bulletproof cream products and the price is amazing. So I'm gonna swatch these for you really quickly and I will tell you what I have on today is just a combination of this color end game here I put that all over my lid and I also put it underneath with just a really inexpensive Morphe brush. And then what I did was I put this color, which is called Golden Vibes, I put this around the outer edges, all around this darker color, and then buffed it a little bit with my fingers. And that was it. That was the entire eye look. Kind of gradates it so that it doesn't end too harshly. And seriously, this has been on my eyes for hours and hours and hours no smudging, no moving, nothing. It's just fantastic. So this first one, which is called End Game, it's kind of a um, dark milk chocolate, I would say, but it's very pretty. They're slightly metallic, they are, but when they dry down, they don't have a ton of sheen. They kind of dry down to a matte metallic. This next color is called Out of the Woods. And you guys, you don't need very much. You do not need very much of this product. That one's a little bit warmer just a little bit lighter. You can kind of tell what I gravitate towards in my eyeshadows. Now this one is the Golden Vibes. I really like this one. There is a lighter color and then there is also a purple color. I will probably own them all because they are seriously right up my alley as far as staying power. So that's Golden Vibes. And the last one is called Lunar Disco, and it is just this awesome blue. I'm kind of thinking that this one might be good, you know, maybe as a liner, um, just really pretty blue. So those are the four that I picked up from Almay. I picked up a bunch of stuff from L'Oreal. I got the L'Oreal Infallible. This is the fresh wear. I originally picked it up in the color 430 and it was just a tiny bit too dark for me. So I went back and I got the color 425 and it is absolutely perfect. So I'm thinking that this one might be more of my spring slash summer color, but they're very inexpensive. It's like 11 or $12. It does come in a glass bottle and it does have a pump. I'm wearing it today and it says it's 24 hour wear and that's definitely not true. But what I do like is it gives you a very natural medium coverage and I put it on with a damp beauty blender or Sonia Kashuk sponge. And you guys, it definitely lasts a solid eight hours. I'm never gonna wear it for 24 hours so that doesn't really matter. It gives a very nice skin finish. I do prep my skin really like extra hydrated just because I typically, any of these that say that they're 24 hour wear, that kind of thing, a lot of times they're a little bit too dry for my skin. This one isn't at all as long as I prep my skin right. I have it on today and again, I put this on solid eight hours ago, you guys, and you can see, you can still see my blush, which usually for me is a really good sign that a foundation has kind of lasted the day, is if you can still see my blush. So I'm pretty impressed with this foundation and I feel like it looks pretty natural. For the drugstore, I, I definitely, I'm really, really liking it. So if you run like an NC2023, 425 is a very good color. 430, I would say, is more along the lines of an NC2325. And I'm just slightly lighter than that. I am a true light medium, like light medium, almost medium skin tone is what I have. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up from L'Oreal is the Color Riche Matte lip liner now i haven't worn lip liner in so long you guys i just don't wear it very often anymore when i do i love the charlotte tilbury iconic nude that is probably 
my holy grail all-time favorite lip liner this lip liner is definitely different than that it is very very velvety now i have this in the color 110 which is called um matted i think it's called I'll, I'll put it in the description box for sure guys it is kind of a cool tone nude it, it definitely leans like a cool almost plummy but i would call it a nude i am wearing it today i'm wearing it today with my l'oreal color riche in uh the shine in color 910 which if you guys have been here for any length of time you know is like one of my all-time favorite lipsticks and i love that it's at the drugstore now i know that those two colors next to each other look like they're kind of far apart but when you feather that lip liner in and then you put this over it it just makes a really pretty color. I am topping that. I usually don't do all this stuff with my lips, you guys, but I'm kind of having some fun. I'm topping that with this color from Milani. These are really fantastic lip glosses, you guys. It has a really huge doe foot, and it has the tiniest bit of plumping effect. Very, very subtle. It isn't like stingy or anything, but you can kind of feel a tiny bit of heat with it. This is in the color three prismatic peach and that's the whole combo that i have on i'm really enjoying these three and they're all drugstore now i did read some people's reviews of this lip liner and they were disappointed because they were trying to turn it up and up and up and you can't it's not retractable it's something that you sharpen oh. it isn't wooden i mean the outside isn't wooden so you know you have to actually use a little bit of elbow grease but it's not really difficult and i just use a nars Pencil sharpener, so you can see. I mean, it definitely sharpened just fine. So, okay, the next two things are also from L'Oreal. I grabbed this True Match. This is a kind of concealing corrector. This is in the color 402 Peach. This is a fantastic corrector, you guys. Now, it's in a pencil form, obviously. And it's such a nice peach because it's not way, way too dark. It is very peachy, which is fantastic for correcting blue um, undertones and even a little bluey green undertones. It's just a really great for if you have light, medium, almost medium skin. Now, I am able to touch up during the day and you can just tell my dark circles like to peek out during the day. So having a pencil corrector that I can carry around is awesome. Now, for me, I often can get away with just using a corrector. A lot of people can't do that. You have to put a concealer over it because the peach, just you can see the peach. So you can see, I just put that on and it just quickly and easily and it's super creamy and it's very easy to use. I really, really like this and it's at the drugstore. It's a fantastic product. I did also pick up their, the infallible, this is the new concealer and this is full wear. This reminds me so much of kind of a combination of the Tarte Shape Tape and the Too Faced Born This Way, the newer concealer that's the super concealer that's in the big thing. It isn't quite as dry for me as the Shape Tape and it isn't quite as emollient as the Too Faced. It's somewhere in the middle. Literally, I use the tiniest dot and it blends out. So it's a great value as well. I would call it a medium to full coverage. It isn't quite as full of coverage as the Tarte Shape Tape, but it's not quite as drying either. I got mine in the color 360 cashmere and it is a great it's a great color and it's really good over the peach so you can see it right there it's a nice light medium neutral color and it looks great over that peach to conceal dark circles it does have a really big doe foot and i just really am impressed with some of L'Oreal's offerings right now, very, very good stuff at the drugstore. Again from L'Oreal, you guys, is a new mascara, and this is their Unlimited Mascara. Now, I'm hard pressed to pry myself away from my Hourglass, the Caution Mascara. Seriously, that is my all-time favorite, favorite mascara, but this one, you guys, is pretty unique because you can actually bend the wand so that you can get in it's actually kind of neat the way that they do that. You can manipulate the wand so that you can get into places without having you know, the wand straight. It's also kind of that cone, Christmas tree shape. 
so you can use it to get right into some of the smaller lashes and stuff and i just find that it's actually a very very good mascara it's because it does absolutely no transferring it doesn't flake on me nothing it is a challenging one to get off your eyelashes at the end of the night i definitely have to use like a double cleansing balm that kind of stuff because it's it's on there it's not waterproof but it doesn't just come off super easily so if that bothers you then this might not be a good mascara for you but other than that it is a really fantastic mascara and it's a great layering mascara i feel like it doesn't get crazy clumpy it's a good one now what i have been using to remove my makeup recently and I'm really smitten with this, you guys. And this is the Physician's Formula. This is the Perfect Matcha 3-in-1 Melting Cleansing Balm. This is a fantastic first cleanse in a double cleanse from the drugstore, you guys. So you can't find this everywhere where they have um, Physician's Formula, but I did find this at Walgreens. So I will definitely find where you can find it online. I've been looking for this for a long time before I actually found it at Walgreens. Guys, it is a fantastic balm. You don't need very much. It just melts your makeup. You add a little bit of water. It does turn into that milky consistency. So you don't necessarily have to go on with a second cleanse. I always do. I just do. But this is an excellent at the drugstore first cleansing balm and the price point is wonderful. I want to say it's 11 or $12 and because you need so little, it's definitely going to last quite a long time. Okay. And the last thing that I want to share with you guys, I picked up this beauty blender defender and I think this is ingenious. Now you guys probably already know about this, but I love it. It basically will just protect your beauty blender your beauty sponge you put it in there it's vented so it can dry out it isn't going to be touching everything else i love this little thing now i did see something kind of like this from real techniques when i was at ulta but what i like about this one is that it's vented and it's soft so you can kind of still smush it into a bag or whatever when you're traveling but this is an ingenious little idea and i love it so definitely if you are somebody who travels with a beauty blender or the Sonia Kashuk sponge, you might wanna just look into this because you can kind of protect it and keep it a little bit more sanitary than just throwing it in your makeup bag. Okay guys, that is all the new makeup that I've been playing with lately. So if you guys have tried any of these items, let me know what you think. And let me know if there's anything else out there that's come out recently that I need to try because I, I just love it, especially all of these fun, new eyeshadows. I did pick up this Swear By It by NYX palette, but I literally have only played with one single color and that is this brown right here. I actually used it on my eyebrows today in a moment of desperation. Other than that, I actually haven't tried any of these, so I'm gonna give it a shot and then I will give you guys a review of that. But that's $35 and you get, I think, 40 eyeshadows. So it comes out to like 87 cents an eyeshadow or something like that. Definitely a great deal if it's a good eyeshadow palette, so I will definitely report back on that one as soon as I play with it a little bit more. Hope you guys are having a fantastic week. I hope that you have time to play with some makeup yourselves. And I will be talking to you guys again very, very soon.